I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a community helper, a mail carrier. I take one finger in the center, underneath I put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw straight line, little curve line up, over, and connect. I come on the left hand side and draw a straight line down. Come on the right hand side, draw a straight line down. Leave them floating. Come over to the left, let's put a dot, and from that dot I'm going to draw a curve line over and leave it floating. If I have little lines that need to connect, I put those two connectors there. Come back to the left, let's draw another curve line over and connect. Right about here we're going to put a straight line, curve line, up, connect. Let's put a curve line out in connect on the left and a curve line out in connect on the right. We're going to put curve line, curve line, curve line on the left, curve line, curve line, curve line on the right. Come back down here at the bottom, straight line, slightly curve line, straight line up, connect. Now I can put another curve line, curve line on the left, curve line, curve line on the right. Come back to the left and let's just draw a slightly curved line down on the left, jump over, slightly curved line up on the right. We're going to come inside and draw a series of diagonal lines inside this space. And I'll talk about that in a minute. I'm going to put one dot, two dots, little curved line, big curve line, little curve line, little curve line. Come down here on the left, we're going to draw a straight diagonal on the left, straight diagonal on the right. We're going to draw a straight line down, curve line over, but leave it floating. Because we come back up and we're just going to draw a straight diagonal, straight diagonal down, curve line up, down, over, connect. Inside this space, let's put a little straight line, straight line, straight line, and let's write U-S-A. If you have room, one, two little baby circles. Okay, now come back to the right. We're going to draw a straight line down, connect. Right about here, we're just going to put little baby circles, flat ovals, I should say. And then go one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay? Come back over here on the left, little straight line, curve line over, one, two, one, two. Come back down to the left, straight line, curve line, straight line up, connect. Come on the right, straight line, slightly curve line, connect. Come over here, up on the left, draw a straight line out, curve line, straight line, little curve line, and now we're going to draw some spirals, and then a straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line, jump over, straight line, curve line, straight line, curve line. Come back over here on the right, straight diagonal out, jump over, don't jump don't draw through your drawing. Curve line. Okay. Now come over here on the left. Straight line. Curve line. Straight line up. Connect. On the right. Straight line. Curve line. Straight line up. Connect. Come back to the left. Straight line. Curve line. Straight line up. Connect. Come on the right. Straight line. Curve line. Straight line up. Connect. Come back to the left, curve line out, over, up, connect. Come on the right, curve line out, over, up, connect. Let's mimic that line, little curve line, little curve line. One, two, loop, 
loop, one, two, loop, loop. Okay. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put a dotted line all the way around as my border. And I am specifically, because I drew my hat the way I did, this is what my mail carrier looks like in Los Angeles, California, because it is really hot, and he wears his big straw hat as he makes his deliveries. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, the first thing I'm going to color in is my straw hat. Now, in other areas, mail carriers wear all kinds of different hats to keep them safe and protected from the elements. Because rain, sun, wind, they still deliver the mail. So I'm using my apricot to color in my straw hat. In your area, you might want to use a different kind of hat, but this is what I use. Now I come in, I'm going to give him yellow hair. And a male carrier can be any gender. I'm going to leave mine white. And I'm going to color in my male yellow. Now ever since we've gotten email, there's been a slowdown on mail deliveries, but people still get it. Oops. I just forgot. A collar. Straight diagonal down, up, connect, straight diagonal down, and you don't have to connect that one because it crashes into my mail pouch, which is brown. My USA leather pouch. And I'm going to make my loops brown and I'm going to come down and make my shoes brown. Now you can add other things onto your belt. Some people, some mail carriers, if they have dogs on their route that are kind of barky, they will have sprays so that they don't get hurt. But your mail carriers are very important because they keep an eye on the neighborhood. I'm going to take red and color in between. And then, the rest of this, I'm going to do blue. Government blue. Now, mail carriers, like I said earlier, are very important for the community because they keep an eye on the neighborhood. And the way they can find out sometimes if somebody's in trouble is if they don't pick up their mail. That's how they can tell. Okay. I think that's all. Let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is my mail carrier all colored in. He is a community helper. A community helper is a person in your community that helps others. And a community is a place where people live and work. Okay, bye-bye.